Հանուն հոր եւ որդվո եւ հոգվույն ցրտո ամեն What do you think about Mother's Day? Doing something nice for your mother. Something, doing something nice for your mother. That's good. Have you done today? Uh, yeah. So what was that? Um, help her around the house with chores. Great. How about you? My mom's special. Your mom is special. All the moms are special. I know that. But what you have done for your mom today? <laughs> have you done something? Have you cleaned the house? Help her to take the garbage out? Sure. No. Buy her flowers. Good. I love that. So, what else? So, what do you think? Why we need to celebrate Mother's Day? Hmm? They deserve. Correct. They do, they do deserve. Yes. But why we have to celebrate this day? Thank you so much. Mother of God, the Theotoko, Saint Mary, with the infant Jesus, always in our altars. Why? Because mothers are special and they are having a big role in our life, in the life of human beings. So, just I was uh, curious yesterday. I was doing the Divine Liturgy at Jacksonville Church and I was thinking, so how much people are spending during the Mother's Day? And how much they are spending during the Father's Day? Then I found someone who reported that almost 670 million on Mother's Day people are spending for the cards and almost 1.9 billion on the flowers, just on the US. Nice business. <laughs> Is that about flowers and cards? To send a card or flowers or to be present in their lives? Yes, tell me. Yes, those who are not with us, definitely we have to remember. Those who are with us, at least we have to see them and hug them. Do you know why we have to hug them? There is a nice story. Yes, I'm sorry, you have raised your hand. What do you want to say? It was a green. Okay. <laughs> no, because I found a story about two brothers, very young age, who, they, who collect like a little bit from their uh, pocket money to buy a flowers for their mother and they come very proud to mom gave the bouquet to the mom and mom found some nice small card in there when she opened it says rest in peace <laughs> mom was surprised she asked <laughs> why you got this letter for me from the store? And the older boy who says, uh, we thought it would be just a perfect since you are always asking for a little peace so that you can rest. <laughs> little peace so you can rest. So, again, that was kind of a humor. But I was laughing when I read this, and I, I thought maybe I can share this with you, but I found the beautiful words in the book of Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, who said perfect words, and I would like to share that with you. He says, as a mother comfort her child, so I will comfort you. And you see the perfect matching or comparing God's comfort with the comfort of mother. If we want to get God's comfort, we have to get our parents or mother's comfort. The hug of mom can be equal to the hug of God. Heart or love of mother can be compared to the love of God. You know why? 
because God says, I will comfort you as mom does for you. How amazing is that? Now you can ask why. Now I'm asking to you why God <coughs> compares his comfort to the mother's comfort. Because of the role that God gave to woman to continue the creation. No one else beside a woman can do God's job of creation. After God created Adam and Eve, he gave the privilege to Eve to be the continuation of his creation and provide human being for this world and for God himself. And that love that comes from the mother can be compared to the love of God. And I would like to read a passage from the first Corinthians chapter 13 verses from 4 to 7 where the apostle is talking about love. Listen very carefully and think about these words. The apostle is telling us, love is perfect. Love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it does not proud. It does not dishonor others. It does not self-seeking, it is not easily angered it is not it keeps no records of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth it always protects always trusts always hopes always preserves can you think about this whole verse that been telling by apostle how amazing is that? How awesome is the love and the love of mother also? If we compare to this world, and I'm going to ask a question, does your mother have patience? Of course. Does you as a mother have patience? Of course. Is your mom kind? As you kind, of course we do. Always protecting. That's the role of the mother. Always protect the kid. If we are looking to the words of the love, we can say that love is trust. Does the mother trust? Of course. Doesn't matter what's happening. Mother trusts and protects and preserves the child. Just think about these words, how beautiful are they? But this word is telling us something different. Trying to move our society away from God's order. They are trying to tell people, you are not continuation of God's creation. You don't have to have a baby. You don't have to deliver it. You have to change your biological form. You have to do abortion because no one needs that child. And this is everything against God's order. This is against God and it's a big sin. That's the reason mothers or women or women at all, they are very blessed. This society is telling the woman, you are Lord and man, you have to take your rights and be higher or similar to the men. It's wrong. You are higher than men by order of God. And when you want to be equal to the men, you are lowering your position. Then God is giving to you. That's the truth from the Bible. This society is still teaching us something different. They are trying to take us to paganism again, to worship God, not to be what we are. 
not to take the role that God is granted to us to be a mother or father. Now we can see that I saw in a TV one child, maybe teenager, 14 or 15, she said, I hate my mother. I wish that she make the abortion of me and never been born in this world. That should make me shocked. How the evil works perfectly to take these people away from God and bring that wrong, evil ideas into the mind of people. Dear mothers, I would like to thank you that you took that role of God that being given to you to deliver a child, to be a continuation of the creation of God and be higher than man. Be honest, you are higher than men by your position. Does God and his son, Jesus, been born by whom? As to mention, Saint Mary, God gave woman a bigger role than a man. Then he appointed Joseph to protect that child and a mother. But the big role God gave to the woman, and he knows that through the woman will come the salvation for nations. That's what he said to Eve. Like from your side the one gonna crush the head of the evil why you want to be lowered down to the position of men keep that position that god gave to you from your birth from the day you've been created as a woman there is a special clergyman in armenian church who was a dolikos and patriarch in the Premian Heidi, who says some beautiful words about women, especially mothers. He equals the motherhood to the priesthood. And he said, mothers in the house, they are like the priest of that house. As the church or community cannot survive without priests, same way the family cannot survive without mother. Just think about these words. Dear ladies, think about this beauty and this role that God gave to you. Don't go, don't follow to these words, idea that they are bringing to us and telling that false equality between human, humans. But Christ said already 2,000 years ago, there is no male and female. They're all equal in God's eye. If we are equal already in God's eye 2,000 years ago, what equality are we looking now? Dear brothers and sisters, take a time to thank your mothers for that beautiful life that we have today, that we've been born from them. Just imagine if there is no more motherhood. Who will be sitting in these fuses? If no mother, no humanity. Just tell me how many years the scientists they are trying to make a man to deliver a baby. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not the order of God. It's not how God created this world. It's an exact and beautiful time to come and share these words with you so we can leave today from the church with the good idea that the role of the woman is higher than the role of man. Honestly. I'm not lowering my role. I'm just trying to tell where is your role. Who else next to Christ in that beautiful icon of Theotokos? 
man or woman. In front of that icon, which is like a window to the heaven, we are praying and consecrating the body and blood of Christ. And always asking that beautiful mother to be our mother at the same time as she is the mother of Christ. And protect us and be the person who can be between us and her son, our intercessor. Happy Mother's Day. Be high. As a woman, God gave you big role. Doesn't matter you are mother now or not, you are a godmother, you are an aunt, you are a stepmother or someone that God gave you that role to be a mother. Dear ladies, happy Mother's Day. I'm praying for all of you and especially for my mom. And also, I remember there is a good prayer. And someone said, I would like to pray for several mothers. First is my motherland, who is mother for all my nation. Second one is my mother church, who is my spiritual mother. The third one is the mother who delivered me, who gave me life. And the fourth one is the mother who makes us mothers. May God bless you all. May God protect all of you. Be happy, be blessed, and always be proud that you are a woman. And you have that role of motherhood. To be the right hand of God of creation. God bless you all, protect you forever and ever. Amen. Said that I saw American match Marilyn Orde Tone. She nice drama was met as well now with an again there to me shot love ne. But cuz Marilyn Masin Jose ye Mayrakan Derin Masin Jose. Shat shamanak ais ashkhar mes khal patkeratsum guda Marutian Masin. Markans Gvachet Ne, my little Alalu. Markans Gvachet Ne, Marti Garashna, Tutuna Budan. Idens Ashkadanki, Idens Taserun, Idens Tramin, a selote, Merganka der Cheng by Elad, my little Alu. Ye perch the Daraben, my little Muhammad. Ye was much shorter, I love the Sarans. I Sashkara the Setters do bet Chunik, my little Dugai Derekhain bet kutune chunik, ye bet ka derekhan zoha perek, ye a derekhan met, some merke. Avedan is of Kirkin match, ye saru markarutian match, teretik fosker, magam or guzem says ye had his bed, or gase, inch pes, or mine, kakvum is mangana. I am best. As what is said, Gnuman, Gnuman, it's the Mayrakan Sose. Sere Hamperove, Kartza Paroe, Sere China Hansu, Chiam Pardavanu, Chico Rosanu, Avail Barmu, Chiunenu, Ian a cheap and room, Barbutiam Chico Rosanu, Yev Chiker Gurgu, Charban Chico Room, Anidabutian Vera, Chiura Hanu. I said, 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 I Այս աշխարի դրդման ասելով թե մեր իրավունքները բարբերած են եւ գուզենք դղամարդու հավասարը լալ 
մորնալով, որ երբեք աստված նմանպան չէ հրած, Քրիստոնյության նմայ մեջ նմանպան չէ դա, Քրիստոս նմանպան չսա, ասավ չգա դղամարդ և գին, ամենք նալ հավասար է նսա։ Եվ այս աշխարը կպեր է աստուծ Կո կրդինքով հացը դվաստակ է, նշեցինք, որ մեր եկեղեցին այնքան կպարձրացն է, մա պատման է անոր, որ պիտի շառունակ է այս աշխահին մարդկությունը, չիկակին, չիկա մարդկություն, չիկակին, չիկա աստուծո ժողովուրդ, Հիմա պարձումս աս է, որն է պարձրը գնոչ տերը, թե դղամարդում տերը։ Հիմյան հայրիկ շատ կերեցիկ խոսքեր ունի, որ դսե թե մայրը ընդանիքին կահանան է։ Եվ ինչպես եկեղեցին չի գրնար կո յադեվել առանց կահանայության նույնպես ալ ընդանիքը առանց մայր չի գրնար կո յադեվել, չի գրնար շառունակություն ունենալ։ Մենք կտեսնենք մեր պատմության մեջ, թե որքան կարևորված է գնոչտերը, որքան պարձրացված է գինը, մենք մեր հայր մեր եկեղեցին մայր կանվանենք, այդքան պարձրացված է տերը, իսկ այս աշխարը գուզե է իչեցնել, և այս աշխարը գսե, որ այն ինչ, որ ըրած է ինչ ամանակին հետանոսության մեջ և երեխաներ գզուհապեր գնոչը աստուծոտ եմ կհանեն։ Երեխան չծմված հերացները աստուծոտ եմ է, ամենեն մեծ մեղքն է, սուրպոքին թեմ մեղքն է, այն սուրպոքին որ կպեր է և այս հրաշտը կգործ է և մարդը կծևավորվի գնոչ որկանիսնի մեջ Սերի մայներ, այսօր պոլորիս կողմեն ուզեն շորագալություն հայտներ ծեզին, այն կաջության և խիզախության համար որ գյանք տվեցին մեզի։ Մենք այս աշխարը չեին կրնավկար, եթե ոչ մեր մայներում է։ Մայրի թերը պարցր կարևոր է, շատ կարևոր է, մայրական սերն ու թաստիրակությունը շատ կարևոր է, աղոտ կսեր, որ աստված որնի որոր կանանց և մայրերը, եվ նրանք երբեք դխրություն չտեսնեն, եվ նրանք երբեք չար չտեսնեն և ամեն են կարևորը գխնձրեմ, որ ձերավոտներուն մեն չիշեք, մեր մայր հայանիքը, մեր մայր եկեղեցին, մեր մայրերը, որպիսի անոն ամուրը լան, պարցրը լան և դիրոչը ապավինովը լան, ու դերը որնի ամենքիս բահե, Amen.